Alright, welcome to the Ravid Show. It's big day of London, day one, and I'm super excited to be here at the Revify booth with one and only Sanjay. Sanjay, not a new face to the Ravid Show, and I'm so happy to have you back on the show. There have been massive announcements that you all have made recently, so I'm kind of curious to learn a little about what's new, what's happening at Revify, and uh, congratulations on the recent funding that you all have received. Uh, obviously, it uh, kind of speaks loud about the work that you all are doing uh, in this space. So. Uh, happy to have you back on the Ravid show. Just for audience, would you like to quickly introduce yourself? Tell us more about what's new at Revify. Yeah, absolutely. Well, it's a pleasure to talk to you again, Ravid. Yeah. Uh, I'm Sanjay. I'm the CEO and co-founder for Revify. Yep. And prior to this, I was an ex-co-founder from ThoughtSpot, which is, uh, as you know, it's a, it's a. We all know. <laughs> we know that part. So, we I know we chatted about what two three months ago. And That's right. Happened since then. And in the last couple of months, hmm. we have come up with some huge announcements. The first, exactly. of course, right? You talked about it. We had a twenty million dollar Series A, and the interesting thing about that was that it closed within ten days when we started the journey. So, wow! So that was, uh, I would say, a strong testament to not just the product but belief in us. Right. And the second part is uh, on the Raiden. Like we announced Raiden, which is the world's first AI data engineer. Yeah, I'm kind of curious about uh, Raiden because I know uh, it has, you all have recently announced that. So can you tell us more about uh, when you say it's like uh, the first uh, AI engine, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Can you tell us more in detail of uh, what Raiden does? How is it helping the larger engineering space? The AI engineers out there uh, would love to know. Get into more of the detailing. Yeah, it's a it's a huge. I would say we can talk about it for like quite a long time, but then yeah. let's get started. So, when we built Raiden, the way we looked at it is that in today's day and age, every company, doesn't matter, small or big, they need a very strong level of expertise within their teams. Right. And so, Raiden is really an acronym. It stands for AI's AI Data Engineer. Okay. And the idea is that it brings a distinguished engineer's level mm. of expertise to the data teams. Right. So, it's a co-pilot. It can be an autopilot. It depends on the use case and also depends on, you know, what people are comfortable with. Hmm. And the idea is it always works. It augments the team 24 cross 7. Nice. And in some ways, when you ask me, you know, what's the different about this? So if you think about this, what it brings to the table is an in-depth understanding of underlying data warehouse architecture. Okay. If you have a performance issue, show what? So what? How do you get into that? SQL debugging, optimization, understanding spend. All of these things, understanding when quality matters, how it brings it out, out of the box in the zero touch packaging right to the stakeholders. Mm. And that's really the whole mantra of what behind the radar. Just bring it on, bring it all on for the data teams. Yeah, I think it's a well thought. Um uh, you know obviously tech that you've kind of put together because that's one of the uh, you know thing that most of the engineers kind of struggle as well so you all have kind of pinpointed it pretty well and also uh, I'm kind of uh, interested to learn a little about what motivated Revify to develop an AI data engineer and how do you see Radian addressing the challenges in data teams that they face today yeah so first of all like if we think about this the need is universal Right. We can talk to any company, big or small, they will all come back and say, we all need a lot of expertise within our own teams right, to mm -hmm. build in the current environment of cloud right. data warehouses. Now, taking it a step further, like so, so what motivated is, well, everybody wants to be on the cloud and they are facing two issues. The first one, of course, is the spend. Right. Like the whole consumption-based pricing, how does it relate? Or was the right ROI? That's one. And the second issue, which we have seen is that it's very hard to get. Yeah. Talent, where out of the box, where you know it just understands everything about your architecture and connects the dot between performance and spend usage, all of these things. Right. So for us, it's just simply the mantra was, you know, how do you empower such data teams to hit the ground running, and how do you help them save time and money right from the beginning? And that's why the whole concept of AI data engineering is to really see how much can you stretch the limits of AI for the data engineer persona. Yeah. And the second is, you know, that's really the right way to do when you have to got to save people time and money. That's fantastic. Uh, thanks for sharing those insights. Also, uh, in a conversation, you mentioned about zero touch, right? Yes. So I'm kind of curious to learn about how does Radiant zero touch, no data access approach work in enterprise environments because it's like so huge when it comes to enterprises, right? And I know uh, when I spoke to you almost 
two or three months back yeah. <laughs> uh, like i know we spoke like almost a year back when you know you were kind of starting with revify all you mentioned that this will be for larger enterprises only will like obviously yeah. for mid size as well but we'll focus on larger enterprise problems so kind of curious to learn about the zero touch aspect yeah so again like same philosophy right yeah everybody wants the things to work right we all True. So, so let me just share a story. So, which is I I find it unprecedented. So we had a Fortune 100 company, and we are talking about even top of the Fortune and Global 2000s there, right? Nice. And we are in a meeting, and of course we went through a security review with Revify's model of you know no data access, SOC 2, all the compliances. It was it was relatively quick. Let's say mm. it took like a couple of weeks or two, two to three weeks. Then we are all in a meeting, and they signed up on the website. Well, that's one. then they also connected their production instance mm. right then and there and that is to me is an amazing testament mm. so the need for every enterprise today it doesn't matter who they are is that they want such expertise within their team right and fast forward 3 days they were already on the path to saving themselves a huge amount of money easily more than six figures wow and that's really you know the power of ai coming together so for us that's really the key that is awesome like in just 3 days that means you've kind of got a customer on board and you are ready on a journey where it's like they'll be saving a lot of cost they already saved it <laughs> they already did in yeah, so, in so the uh, the oh wow so that's really the fun part so because again like if you think that's when we talked about you know why an ai data engineer the idea is that we don't want to create another silos Mm. Like another prospect we're talking to, what they said is, you know, we said, you know, what's more important for you? Is it performance? Is it spend? And this person, he just brought it out very well and said, you know, without controlling performance, you can't control spend. Spend, true. So for us, moment you you know start picking into what's the right way to use the the warehouse, you will start saving a lot of money, and that's the right way to go. I love and it. If I just bring this at all, because that's what a distinguished engineer in your team would do if yeah. they left to do. Yeah. Yeah. No, I love it, a hundred percent. And uh, thanks for sharing that. Uh, it's obviously it's always good to learn a little about you know how it kind of operates in the enterprise world. We kind of you know always think about oh it's a long shot, but it could be you know uh, examples like this which could drive so many things and make it easier for the enterprises as well. I think you're well said. Like if you think from an enterprise persona, they yeah. of course like they they have a diverse right, requirements, but right. underneath. Like they have a lot of compliances. They want the peace of mind. True. And the way Revify is set up is we have SOC 2, we have ISO. There is no data access required to get started. Wow. They exactly know what is going to touch, what they are going to let it you know, look at. Right. When you have all those things and your value prop is so clear and so quick, you know, then the question is why not? Why and not? Moreover, it never takes any of their time. For from their side, it's just five minutes of their investment. Yeah. And everything comes at a platter to them. Love it. Uh, thanks for sharing that. Also, uh, one last question for you: What impact have your early adopters seen in Radin in terms of the ROI? Anything that you would like to share with our audience? Yes. Yeah, so one I already talked yes, about. Yes, you told right? me. And the best part of that was it was it was even more than that. So the fun was that. Uh, so the the person there, they in fact showed and demoed Radin to their own management on their own. Oh wow! Right, and that to us is really you know. It's a testament to you know where we are at, and of course there's a lot of we have to go a long way. There's no ifs and buts on that. Mm. But they came out and said you know, it was it was amazing to see it. You know what on their data in their environment with their questions. Wow. So for us, the adoption is is because it's a need, right? So the adoption is new. Mm. And second is if you think Raiden is not just one or thing, it's really a philosophy. Right. It's how much do you go with an AI first approach? So another company we we're talking to last week they connected. Nice, and uh, they uh, used what we had released. By the way, what when you asked us what's new, it's autopilot on Snowflake Spend, mm. and they just you know just clicked and said, "Oh, these Snowflake warehouses, I want to see you know, how you can save money." Yes, and they in fact went and uh, they accepted the recommendations as well. Yeah, and within like three to four days, they have reduced their entire spend by more than twenty-five to thirty percent. By seeing the product, so so for us, that's huge. That is really the power of AI. To yeah. Data and it's, it's really complex, and that's what Redan does. It's very fast AI data engine. No, it's awesome. In terms of the ROI as well, if you kind of see it that quick, it becomes like a no-brainer for all the enterprises out there. So it's fantastic work that you've been doing, and 
obviously we we've, we've been looking at all the amazing announcements all the amazing work that the team is doing at revify so thanks for that and uh, thanks for again visiting the ravid show sanjay it's always such a pleasure chatting with you uh, we always keep it so casual but then you have like such great insights always so thanks for doing it and uh, one last question that i would like to ask you is uh, for our audience if they want to reach out to you where can they do it is linkedin a good place and if they want to learn more about revify Yeah I think both actually LinkedIn absolutely yes uh, awesome. we are active on LinkedIn nice we have lot of case studies which we are thinking of you know, slowly and steadily pushing it out right so watch out for those and for for now just reach out to me sanjay@revify.com awesome thank you thank you thanks, thanks sanjay always a pleasure chatting with you thank you, thank you very much